seems to be your yoga man. Right just before the footage cuts out. Damn it. No mummies. No mummies. Oh, sh what the f <laughs> What's up, my dudes? Welcome back. Lows. Bonjour. Greetings. Welcome. Right, okay. Watching Flapham's video. S scary randonautica videos that'll freak you out. Let's begin. Again, we're here in my room. It's dark. It's scary. And it's freaking cold. Got a chimney in this room and the wind's blowing through and there's a vent as well and it's I'm, I'm getting goosebumps with I'm watching the video. Uh, also, again, my reflection, I can see you there. I'm watching. Don't you dare. He knows. Okay, let's get on with it. What the I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking Callan, at some this is Slapped Ham. Videos that'll freak you out. Freak you so out. I'm gonna lend these like freaky freaky tricks, content. you know. Just like this. Just like this. Freak you out. Just like this. Ooh, nice quality. The Nautica app claims to use the law of attraction to find a nearby adventure. Released in February 2020, the app was developed by Joshua Lengfelder. Users are given coordinates on a map that they can follow and report their findings. It professes to channel the intentions of its users in order to lead them to relevant spots of potential adventure nearby. Users must think about what they'd like to get out of this. The intentions thing? Um, do you have to type that in? This app can read your intent and then understand your intent and then show you what you wanted to see but then isn't it like you go to like a, a palm reader or a, a fortune teller and they tell you bait bait and then you tend to fill in the gaps or you tend to stick your details in there so you think it applies to you and I feel like this might do something similar, but let's see. Posted to the TikTok channel Randonautica 2, this clip shows what a well-executed Randonautica video can actually do. The video opens with the camera panning around an abandoned building. Both the camera work and the angle in which the video is filmed gives viewers the sense they're experiencing this TikTok firsthand. Looking around, we see trash scattered around the ground and walls defiled with grass. Why is he talking about the way it's kind of structured and displayed to us? It makes it sound a bit uh, unauthentic, like it's, you know, staged. I mean, it, most likely it is, but the way he's narrating it kind of makes us feel that way. Graffiti. <laughs> The camera pans around a corner of the building outside. The video now focuses on an eerie humanoid shape huddled in the corner. That looks weird. Hunched over and... He's like bent in half from his waist. But... He doesn't look like he's standing while doing it. It could be like a yoga pose. This guy... Just needed a quiet place, <laughs> you know, get his morning routine done. And my man here is uh, trespassing and annoying him. I mean, that guy could be trespassing, but still, come on. An exposed get that guy figure seems get, to get your yoga in just before the footage cuts out. Let me. No mummies. No mummies. Oh sh! What the f Unfortunately, there's very little was... info available about this random order clip. That was weird. We don't know Hold on, what? Was filmed or... Oh, okay, 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 okay. So that's his, his thighs. So it's he's squatting. 
with this like his son over but to me it looked like those thighs were the back of his arms so he's like hold, he's holding his legs head down wow i had that completely wrong okay that makes more sense <laughs> the guy's just squatting the homeless person looking to scare the camera holder away it's like he's trying to have his yeah so what do you think hoax homeless person or something far more sinister love to hear your just opinions pooping. on this one in the comment section below You're just watching the poop fall no mummies no mummies what does no mummies mean it's... don't rest Apparently, mummies means breast. Scary Randonautica video was uploaded by TikTok user Kelly Velarez. Velarez and company found themselves faced with a creepy supernatural sighting. The figures walk at a slow pace, but nothing seems out of the ordinary. As the video pans over to the vehicle's rear view camera, the camera shows nothing but the road behind them. Just where the two men should be visible, the vehicle's camera has picked up nothing. Uh, I think I've got it. The dashboard of the camera is showing probably like a historical archive video or something because if you look at the um, land to the right it's like all gravelly but when they uh, pan back to look at those people it's all like bushes and shit next to uh, the car so I don't think it's the same like it's not live footage that on the dashboard. Why would millions of people believe this? Like, you just have to analyze it a bit, I think. I don't know. Am I wrong? And you go back. So bushes, there's no like gravel. Uploaded to TikTok by Chris oh, C. Iron Ghosts. Maiden. This next video may be slightly more mystifying to the potential skeptic. He cites the coffin's resemblance to the design of the classic Iron Maiden torture device. Called it. This makes the presence of these coffins even more alarming. Well, not so much because they're like uh, dull. An innocuous spikes. looking table nearby is also quickly exposed as something more disturbing. Upon gently adjusting the table, its resemblance to another medieval torture device becomes apparent. One of those tables that you like tie people to and uh, torture them. So, uh, last but not least, yeah. ominous ropes are seen strewn along the ground. What was this their intent? Were they looking for like BDSM or something? An escape. Mad sketch. Maybe if you blow this up. Chilling and disturbing enough on its own, Chris ends the video by suggesting he may return to the same spot at night. This promises Aye. an even more ominous adventure. Mad sketch. Maybe if you anything for views. Come back at night. Some of the scariest Randonautica videos out there contain events too odd to be unreal. Such is the case in this chilling video posted to the TikTok account Frozen Meals. So we decided to play Rando Nautica and it took us to this random detention center. Either thinking this to be innocent enough or the start of a creepy Rando Nautica adventure, the girls decided to take the risk and make the drive out to the detention center. Eerily, when they arrive at their destination, one of the girls receives an anonymous text asking if they're real. From a random ass number that said, are you real? And we decided to come back to check it out. And it just says real. While the rest of the adventure can easily be chalked up to the app's inf- what, what was their intent? Does it marry? Like, okay, fine. They turned up in some weird place. They parked up, somebody texted them, and then the word real appeared on the wall, um, on the bridge. But like, if they don't share what they intend what the intention was how am I meant to know if this app is paranormal or you know you can know what you want and lead you to places at the moment it doesn't make any sense to me I, I, it's not scary a random text I, yeah are you real and what <laughs> I mean I don't know Influence, the scribbled word and anonymous text may this is not freaking me out was someone stalking these girls or is it a case of pure coincidence 
Too many assumptions in this thing. Rando Nordic Rap may even be cursed. This would explain why so many weird and scary things have been attributed to Rando Nordica adventures already. I just think it's coincidence. I don't think it's um cursed. It's a freaking app. These TikTokers unknowingly push the boundaries in this video uploaded by user Benjamin Hicks. The pair featured in the video explain that the app first guided them to an old and abandoned convent roughly an hour out of town. Noticing an odd shape just over her shoulder, he calls his friend's attention. Unsure of exactly what they're seeing, they make their way over to the odd shape. What at first appears to be an oddly constructed fixture quickly turns out to be something else entirely. Gathered in a circle, there's a group of people all standing with their heads pressed down. It is downloading, like, firmware. It's fine. It happens all the time, it's normal. You know, that's like the designated spot. Only four people can, you know, use it at a time. The weird ones are those people filming it, trying to film them doing it. It's just a normal thing, isn't it? <laughs> They're probably meditating or something. They form an odd cult-like practice around the unknown. Why is it cult-like? Why is it cult-like? These random people are going to... They're following a nap to some random place and then they think, oh, let's do a TikTok dance. They're the random... They're the, they're the weird ones. These guys, no one's around. Like, just turned up and they're just banging their head. I mean... They could be like praying, they could be, they could be doing a number of things. They're not hurting anybody. It's weird. I give it, I give it. It's weird. But what's weird is them guys just doing a random TikTok dance. It, it, it looks like a play, like a church place or something like that. It's odd. I call all of them out. Without moving or speaking, the group seems to be performing some ritual or rite. How do you know? You're just like assuming. Extremely unsettling, the pair of friends seem rightly disturbed by whatever it is they're looking at. Okay, give me something that I'll freak out about. Videos that may hint at an unsettled spirit. Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary videos. <laughs> also, remember to slap that like button right in the face. <laughs> Lastly, this series of scary Rando Nordica videos posted by TikTok user Taylor Vasquez 66 hopes to serve as a cautionary tale, deterring the curious away from the perils of Rando Nording. Documenting her own adventures with the app, Taylor shares more than a few spooky clips of her own. So I keep seeing that rando not thing all over TikTok and I really want to try it out. So I just downloaded the app and I found the location. She looks familiar. The first adventure she takes like, Taylor to an she looks like a freak area. Possible celeb. Scary, but seemingly innocent, Taylor oh. has nothing to fear until she finds a series of disturbing and violent drawings. Then we have these random I think things. I might have seen this before. It's your birthday with the snowman on the Obviously freaked out, Taylor's senses are on high alert. The video ends with a horrific sound nearby, sending Taylor running. I swear I'm friendly. Play with me. <gasps> Feeling brave, Taylor returns to the creek. This time she pans around the area in order to ensure that there's no one around. I know. What? What, to her what did it say? More drawings are found in the area, each creepier and more distressing than the last. Just grab them all really quick. Why? If they have messages. Why? Why? You've you've gone to a random place. It's littered. Yeah, grab a black bin and you know clean it up. Fine. But then you hear some weird noise. Is that? I think I watched it. I think before. I think it's somebody talking. I can't remember now. They say something. 
then why are you still there? Like, if you saw them, fine. Uh, if you haven't seen them, you'll be looking at the floor and the pictures. Just bloody... Like, be aware of your surroundings. I don't know. People these days. I feel like a boomer. As Taylor I'm is distracted blah. by the horrid drawings, she doesn't at first hear what appears to be the ethereal voice of a small child in the area. Ooh, I like that word, ethereal. It, is it ethereal or ethereal? Ethereal. 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 Oh, I'll check it later. They have messages on them. It's them. Like those look like symbols. The clip ends abruptly when she does hear it. Clearly disturbed, she makes a break for it. Really see anything else. Like... You're going to Analyzing her previous video, a viewer spots the unthinkable. The face of a creepy child is clearly seen peeking around a corner, looking directly oh. at Taylor's camera. No one was I don't think so. And tell me if you guys think that looks like a ghost child, because I don't know. It's too blurry. Clearly distraught, viewers have made the connection between oh. the face and the voice of the girl with the disturbing drawings left behind at the scene. Else. You're going to die. Having grabbed a journal from the creek area, Taylor spends this video analyzing the messages left behind. I haven't said this bit. Detailing voices heard in her voice head. Voice in my head are oh, getting too loud. Her, it's clear that any little girl with a diary like this would have to be seriously disturbed. She didn't get good lessons at school. You're supposed to write between the like within the lines. That's such a waste of paper. I am Mary. My brother is Nathan. Our... Our... I can't read that. Our, our father is much... Much worse than Satan. Oh God. You saw something. She should hand that in to the police. Brother, let's play. Feeling brave after a few beverages, Taylor makes her way to the creek Dutch once courage. again. This time, finding a few of the girl's possessions, including what seems to be a makeshift Ouija board. Don't touch Ouija boards. The final video in this series shows a knife found at the creek. This knife I saw. Okay. This is when you know, like, two things it could be. This person is stupid and they're touching a crime scene, picking up knives, uh, destroying evidence in a sense, uh, or that they're the ones who put the in here. First of all, yeah, yeah. Two things. Person's dumb or they planted all this shit just for the sake of this video. It's entertaining but it's not even that scary. Apart from the girl's voice. The girl's voice is a bit scary. You're going to die. Also, the You're going to die. These two things and ran. Positive something dangerous is going on. Taylor makes it clear she won't be returning. Something dangerous is going on. There's a disembodied voice saying you're going to die. Uh, there's a, a, a creepy um, diary talking about a father. There's a picture of a potential girl from a snapshot of your video. And you say it's kind of dangerous. How is that? This knife I saw sitting next to it. This year. Did you say? The final video in this series shows a knife found at the creek. This knife I saw sitting next to it, so I just grabbed these two things and ran. Positive something dangerous is going on. Taylor makes it clear she won't be returning. Something's going on. I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know why I'm trying to analyze this so much. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. To the creek after all Let's just seen. enjoy it like uh, 
So what I do you think's going on in this series don't of do videos? The ads. Some viewers have speculated that the whole event is staged. Others, however, yeah. think the drawings look too weathered and authentic to be a setup. When I was in school, you can just like we for history, we created the Magna Carta or whatever the hell it was. And to make it look old, we just like got a tea bag, wet it, and then rubbed that all over the paper. So it looked aged and weathered. And we burned it a bit. Like, I mean, anyone can do that. I mean, you can't say it looks weathered, so it might be true. Films do shit like that. I, it, you can't make assumptions like that. It's, it's just like, I guess, yeah, I'm looking too serious into it. But um, I guess if you want to get scared, you can just go along with it. But I just feel like I can't. <laughs> it's just, it's too difficult. Like, I don't mind it being fake, but it has to be scary at least. And this is not that scary. I feel like, a, I don't think Random Nautica is that good. Sounds and mysterious ghost -like face. Although, like, I mean, it helped, like, find a dead body or something so in a in a sense it did a good thing because uh, it helped report a crime but at the same time it just seems dangerous you're going into random places you don't know what's gonna be there and it could be staged but at the same time it could be something serious like like a dead body but if the killer was there you know that's just Scary stuff. I, I, people gotta be careful. Make this a very eerie Rando Nordica adventure. It's definitely so eerie. Why would you go on your own? Strange location. Is there perhaps a story that needs to be told in order to give some restless spirit peace? Oh man. In order to give some restless. There's like a, a house up above. It's probably where she lives. And she just come down to the creek near where she lives. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, you know, uh, filming there. It's a little set. The spirit piece. It's like so many houses there. Now, if you want some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, we have a massive... All right, I'll, I'll link everything to this guy. Um, let's just uh, let's just subscribe and like this guy's video. It's interesting, but... I just get annoyed. I don't know. I'm just. I think I just think too much about this, shit. Uh, or look into it too deeply when I don't need to. I, I just need to enjoy it for the surface level entertainment that it is. I don't know. I wasn't impressed to be honest with Brandon Nautica, and the whole thing at the start of him explaining that it's um, ba intent based and this and the other. But then I don't feel like I might have missed it. But I don't think any of the videos shared what the intent was so it's not like you could even like uh marry that up like you couldn't say oh i intended to find the real and then i came across a bridge with real written on it and somebody messaged me saying are you real do you know what i mean like there's nothing it wasn't tied up together i just ah uh, my crit my crit ah uh, my critic is back i am the critic Call me the critic. Oh, anyway, sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the in the next one. I oh, hope you enjoyed it more than I did. I, I enjoyed it. I, I I enjoyed it for the fact that I was gonna share it with you. Nah, that's just bullshit. I did not enjoy this. This is stupid. Yeah, I, I don't mind if you skip this video. I mean, if you've watched it to this point, you can definitely skip it now. It's all good. All right. Cheers. See you later.